during, during one of the elections, you were talking about Chick Fil A, right? Uh, for those who didn't hear it, just please tell us how many. I know you don't have to tell us the exact names, but just tell us how many uh, ingredients are in what you refer to as Chick Fil A. Well, I was. It's a play on words, of course, and you know you got to be black people. They didn't. They, they. When I said McDevils, everybody was like ha ha ha. I said Taco Hill, ha ha ha. Uh, white casket instead of White Castle, ha ha ha. Sin Tucky Fried Chicken, ha ha ha. That when I said Long John Killers, they was fine. When I said the Murder King, they was fine. But black people got an emotional attachment to this Chick Fil A spot. So when I said Sick Fil A. Well, I had to get extra security. I'm t so I was sitting one day drinking some coffee, and I was looking at the line in, at Chick-fil-A. Three lines starting at 10.30 in the morning, and I stayed there for an hour. It never let up. I said, ain't no way in hell that a chicken sandwich tastes that good. So I said, let me see. Uh, I wonder what they're putting in it. And I started doing the research right at the time that you remember, you know, in the hood there was this argument, Popeyes versus Chick-fil-A, and everybody was going back and forth. And people, you seen people at Popeyes, man, got shot. Man, shot somebody because they didn't have no more chicken sandwiches left. I mean, I said, I said, this ain't no regular chicken sandwiches. So I went and looked up Popeyes chicken sandwich. Come to find out, they have 40, over 40 ingredients in the Popeye's chicken sandwich, 32 of them were man-made chemicals. And I said, well, let's see what Chick-fil-A has. Over 50 chemicals in the chicken sandwich, over 40 of them were man-made chemicals. I said, so hell, this is a dope sandwich. So they, hell, they really are flipping birds over there. I mean, because there's no way in the world to justify. So whenever I seen that, um, I said it in a message. And someone took the clip of it and then went on the website of Chick-fil-A, had it broke down where they were clicking on it, showing all of the ingredients and these chemicals that were in it. Do you know the next day Chick-fil-A took that down off their website? So now you can't find the ingredients to the Chick-fil-A sandwich or the Popeye's uh, chicken sandwich because they don't want you to know that they're drugging you, that they're, they're doping you, that, that they, are, they have you wanting the food not be for nutrition or value, but because you've become addicted by the MSG and the other chemicals that they've inserted in that also are immune system disruptors. They ill affect your brain, mess with your arteries, and, and any foreign substance automatically activates the immune system, which means our bodies, when we eat this kind of food, they are fighting an unnecessary battle. So when the real battles of disease show up, the, the systems are too worn out by fighting these small battles every day from bad eating that they can't handle a virus when it shows up. So it'll, it'll do us a great service uh, as the, the Honorable Elijah Muhammad said this, he said, you must get your mouth out of the white man's kitchen. And remember this, the minister said this, whoever controls your kitchen controls your revolution. Because food affects mood. We are what we think, but we also are what we eat. And if we have the wrong teacher multiplied by the wrong diet, we're going to engage in the wrong activity and success won't be ours.